We're here at the gardens today because at the insect adventure we get a lot of questions about millipedes and centipedes and what are the difference. So we've brought them out today to have a little talk. Centipede, millipede. So a lot of times because things sound the same, folks are sure that means that they're closely related. But a centipede and a millipede, even though they sound similar, are as different as a shrimp and a spider. So they're very distantly related, but they're both still arthropods. The big difference about between millipedes and centipedes is just about everything. Millipedes are very slow because they do not run to catch their food. They're strict vegetarians. They only eat fruits and vegetables and wood and rotten leaves and that sort of thing. So their bodies are very slow and very chubby. For each segment of the body on a millipede, there are four legs present and absolutely no teeth. And they come in all shapes and sizes and colors. There are hot pink millipedes. There are deepest, darkest jungle millipedes. This is the largest species of millipede in the world. They're from Tanzania over in Africa. And all millipedes are harmless unless you eat them, <laughs> which makes them poisonous. Uh, they are not venomous, they do not bite, they do not have teeth, they don't sting. But if you lick or eat a millipede, it has the capacity to make you throw up. And on the other side of the world, there are some millipedes that if you lick them, they actually can make you drop dead. So don't go licking any millipedes, they can make you sick. On the other hand, a centipede is entirely different. Its body structure is different. It's not round and chubby. It's very flat. And instead of having four legs for each body segment, there are only two legs. And those legs are located on the side of the body to enable the centipede to run really, really fast because centipedes don't eat their vegetables. Centipedes are apex predators. They only eat meat. They're strictly carnivores. And they're big enough carnivores to be able to take down things like mice and lizards and baby frogs and even spiders. Uh, they're really capable of eating anything that is a little bit smaller than their body. Centipedes are considered venomous because they possess venom. Poisonous means has poison, and if you eat it, it makes you sick. Venomous means has venom, but neither venomous nor poisonous is the same as deadly. Deadly means it can put you in the hospital. There's no centipede anywhere in the world that is dangerous enough to a person that it does anything more than hurt. There's never been a sickness, a sore, or a death on planet Earth to a human caused by a centipede. They have big bitey fangs, lots of legs, no stingers, and they can bite when they're frightened or disturbed, but they're a beneficial animal to have around your house or in the garden because they're gonna eat other bugs and help keep pests out of your house and home. So if you find a bug in your garden with a lot of legs, even from far away, you can tell whether it's a centipede or a millipede. A lot of legs on the ground, moving very slowly. That's a millipede. And it's not gonna do any danger to you or your garden and just let it go, leave it alone, enjoy it. Centipede, if you see one in your garden, it'll have lots of legs and be lightning fast because it has to catch its food. There's no reason to kill it. Enjoy its beauty and let it go on its way. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel.
and join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.